I'm Ed Bass, Head of Education for the CFA Institute for the EMEA Region. The CFA Institute awards the Chartered Financial Analyst uh, Program designation as well as the Certificate in Investment Performance and Measurement, the CIPM, which ties directly into the goals and missions of TSAM. Uh, this March, I'll have the honor of chairing the Investment Performance and Risk Stream of TSAM Europe 2012. And I'm really looking forward to participating in that dialogue with distinguished professionals in the industry. I'm especially looking forward to the one hosted by Simon Goodfellow on asset allocation methodology during this uh, severe financial crisis, which I'm sure will be of great interest to all the participants as well. Being um, interested in uh, regulation as well, which is having an increasing effect on the financial industry uh, throughout the world, the session on Solvency II uh, seems to be quite appealing as well. And I really get a lot out of the roundtable format that uh, TSAM Europe uh, encourages. This gives the participants an opportunity to engage with each other, to learn, to take information away that they can apply uh, in their own practice for optimal performance uh, measurement. I think it's particularly valuable this year as the financial crisis carries on in that uh, investment managers and those who measure their performance are increasingly challenged to come up with the right benchmarks uh, to, to measure performance. Um, it's, I think, a, a lot easier when, when times are good but when times are difficult, as we're seeing right now, this makes the task of performance measurement ever more challenging. And I, I believe TSAM Europe provides an effective venue for improving the skills of the participants. Another advantage of uh, the TSAM Europe uh, gatherings is the ability to meet and greet uh, providers of uh, performance measurement uh, tools and exhibitors and to engage in a dialogue with them in order again to benefit from best practice in one's own business uh, utilizing the, the tools that they can provide. Among the many financial conferences uh, available to practitioners in the industry right now, I particularly value TSAM for the variety of professionals that it brings together uh, who can share um, information about uh, best practice in, in performance measurement. It brings together, I believe, the best and the brightest in the industry and gives them the benefit of networking with each other and sharing um, information in the industry to improve their own business. Yes, the, uh, the format of TSAM Europe consists of several concurrent streams, giving participants the ability to shift from one stream to another depending on their interest. So while I'll be chairing the one on performance measurement and investment risk, there are other equally interesting streams on data management, for instance, IT and technology, and client communications, among other things. So this overall, I think, gives participants the ability to benefit from a, a wide variety of aspects of the industry to uh, help their performance. I think one of the biggest challenges that the industry faces in the near term is properly benchmarking performance in these extremely volatile markets where information can be biased or skewed and it becomes very difficult for an investor to decide what proper performance uh, really is to be able to, to gauge that. CFA Institute itself plays a role in promulgating what we call the Global Investment Performance Standards and we are also very eager to promote our Certificate in Investment Performance uh, Measurement in which we're seeing increasing numbers um, not just in Europe but around the world as well. So we would encourage uh, participants to uh, have a look at that as well.
Well, obviously, it's having severe negative effects, which, in my view, are, are likely to go on for some time. Uh, we're in for um, quite a few more years of, of pain, which will make it in increasingly testing for uh, investment managers in order to outperform and challenging for investment performance uh, measurers uh, to be able to benchmark that properly. So I think this heightens the visibility of their role, uh, makes it much more important, and at the end of the day will prove benefit to investors as well.